Walking around, feeling free Thinking about what's happened to me from July Up till now, don't know where Good morning everyone, welcome back to a brand new renovation vlog. Like I've said in previous videos, things have slowed down a little bit when it comes to the renovation. That little cloakroom, by the way, is this probably the smallest room in the house. Yeah, it's the smallest room in the house. Oh my God, it's eating away at some budget, is that room? And yeah, it's a bit of a bougie flipping cloak room, isn't it? <laughs> it's taking up some money. It's also taking up a lot of time. It's absolutely getting there and it's looking fabulous. So I'm gonna show you some updates of that in this video and other bits and bobs that's been going on around the house. I have to watch back the previous renovation vlog to see where you guys are up to because when you're living in it it's just like it consumes you and I forget what you've seen what you've not seen so yeah we're gonna do a renovation vlog this time it's Saturday morning and we've not really been working on the house apart from some evenings if we have to and the weekends so that's why we're here on Saturday and filming and yeah, this is what it's all about. There's not much fun going on around here. And when I talk about sacrifices that we have to make in order to achieve what we're doing here, this is what I mean. Like most people are having fun at the weekends and you know, whatever they're doing. And um, we're here working on the house, but all is not lost. We know it's gonna be worth it. Anyway, I've had a slow morning. As you can see from behind me, I'm well into Vampire Diaries at the moment and I just like to have something on in the background. That's my poison of choice. <laughs> Vampire Diaries, obsessed with vampires. I don't know why. Uh, maybe it's my blood type. <laughs> the cold ones they call us, don't they? Us with all negative blood types. They call us the cold ones. But yeah, I've had a slow morning. We do like to take things slow in the morning on a Saturday. I've got brunch ready as well for this morning and I'm in a super healthy mood. So I'm gonna skip out on the sausages and the fried bread and all of that good stuff. I'm gonna skip out on the bread completely and I just need to drink water and like eat some healthy foods. I have not had avocados for far too long so we're doing scrambled eggs this morning for me avocados and i've got some rocket that i'm going to really chop up so that it's easy to eat with the scrambled eggs and hubby's having his usual eggs and bacon and flipping sausages and whatever else oh i think we're ordering wallpaper today we, i think we've made a decision Oh, it's so hard choosing wallpaper, isn't it? It's driving me insane. I ordered some Ralph Lauren wallpaper samples. I thought I'd ordered my favourite Lucy Annabelle wallpaper as well, which was a strong contender. I've been waiting for it for over a week. And then I thought, let me just check on this like sample order. I've not pressed order. So I've been waiting for something that was never going to come. <laughs> anyway, so we haven't got that as a like an in hand comparison so i don't know anyway we're gonna go downstairs we're gonna have a look at some wallpaper we're gonna do some brunch and we're just gonna get on with the day summer ended but we did not we started some things thing that we got grew stronger each day we're together on the way Oh, right, that's so good. It is so much better, that's a quite a saving. 
sing, if you ask me. An enchanting English country scene in single colour muted shades on a white background. Ralph Lauren's fern and tall. Oh, um, so wallpaper calculator. So I told you. Oh, one, one second, I have to try. Uh, oh, yeah, we do want centimetres. 100 centimetres. 100 centimetres. Uh, oh, wall of height. Three rows. Jesus Christ. on the toilet seat because it matters paper. yes it's paper but it's designer paper ash <sighs> well it would have been worse if it were 90 pound a roll what would that have been <laughs> so if you just concentrate on the saving he acts like I'm the bougie one, which, granted, I am, but he's just as bougie, he just doesn't admit it. At least I admit it. So, fern towel, two rolls, £70, 55 each, so £141.10. Are we happy? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> We're falling in love. current situation in the boot room we have all of the tools out today hubby's doing all of the panelling here in the boot room so we'll come back to that later because by the end of the day it should be all done and then I can just get painting it it's actually taken no time at all for him to do this shiplap tongue and groove on the boot room obviously it's raw wood but i just wanted to show you what it looks like from this angle obviously we'll have skirting on at the bottom and eventually a floor i think we're not far off the floor you guys anyway so raw wood and it's just been done it's just drying we've done a mixture of um screws and a mixture of glue we still need to what's it called, coat kit and things in some places like here um, at the moment, but we've done this like angles here so that it doesn't just come out. Anyway, I thought that's just really nice touch. So it's gonna look really, really good when it's painted in. I'm gonna paint it in white. I'm painting everything in white because that's just my signature. You'll see in the end, how it all works and then once it's all finished and um there's nothing else to be done then we can think about sorry about that washing machine then we can think about different colors especially on the tongue and groove areas and bits and bats around the house but i don't want to make any mistakes so we're just going to go safe and do everything in white at first until everything starts to come together but yeah really excited about that boot room so I need to paint that up probably later when we've given it a chance to dry we've got our bench here love this bench baskets to style up so it's really more or less done and if you remember ages ago we restored them old scaffolding boards in a previous vlog excuse me that was a couple of months ago now but this one here is for the boot room this one's been sat waiting here to go up for months that's gonna go up here. We've got brackets to pick up later today. Ordered them from Screwfix. We've gone for the same brackets. 
as the kitchen shelves because I just think they're really like super elegant and simple. Also, we found this upstairs. We pulled it out of one of the bedrooms, I think. So we're going to use that brasso to bring up the, see if we can bring out the brass in these gorgeous hooks. And if we can use these ones, we will. So there's only three hooks on there and I'm not gonna know how many I'm gonna need until that shelf is in situ and then I'll see what space we've got. Cause I don't wanna put two less, it is, it is a boot room. I don't wanna overwhelm the wall with boots and shoes and coats, but that is essentially what it's for. I don't want to put too few hooks up there. I also don't wanna put too many. So we'll see what kind of space we're working with. Sorry about that washing machine. I don't know why it screams like that, but yeah, um, these hooks though, if we don't use them on the boot room, we'll use them somewhere else. So let's go and have a little update. I always have to watch one of the previous vlogs back because I'm not quite sure what we last shown you when there's work going on all the time. You kind of get lost in it. So I've put my little temporary <laughs> floodlight up because We've still got no power in this little cloakroom, but I thought I'd just show you the updates in here. Let's bring the light a little bit closer so you can see in there. Hopefully you can see, obviously it's the wrong lighting. We're going to have a warm light up here eventually. And then it'll look less stark contrasting, but we finally finished all of the painting of the wood along the bottom half of this room and got the floor down. It's constantly needing cleaning, so you'll have to just excuse it for now. But yeah, I just love how it's looking in here. The floor is just a statement. I was saying to somebody, I feel like I'm living my best Alice in Wonderland <laughs> dreams out throughout this checkerboard floor. I just love it. I think it's absolutely stunning. Again, like I just said in the boot room, I might eventually paint out this bottom ship lap into an off-white colour. I'm not going to know yet. So again, we're just going to play it safe, keep it white for now. We're still toying with the wallpaper. I'm still waiting on one more sample, but um, if you follow me on Instagram, I have been putting some polls up there with some wallpaper options but we're not going to have a chance to go through that in this vlog so i will show you the wallpaper samples for this room the options in the next vlog when i've got everything together because we're still waiting on one it's a bit shocking isn't it because there's just that wallpaper bit now that needs doing so once we've chosen we'll get that on the walls and then the light can go on. We've obviously wired in for a light up here. So I'm still looking at wall options. Wall options? I'm still looking at light options for up here. And I think I'll be able to decide once the wallpaper is up. So, um, but yeah, let's concentrate on like halfway down and below because it just looks finished from this point onwards, doesn't it? <laughs> but this is our Burlington sink. And it's all in and I just love it. These taps are amazing. And also they come with like two different like inserts that go under here. So it changes the way the water comes out of the tap. I have gone for an elegant water. Ta-da! Like I said, the quality of this bathroom suite is just stunning. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's just beautiful in all of its glory. And then it just sits with its little feet on the floor there. So we can have a little hand towel down here. I might just have to choose a fancy one from somewhere. In fact, I've got a couple of towels from the last house, however, the grey. So I'm not sure if they'll work or not in here, but I used to have them in the double sink vanity in the last bathroom in the last house, if you remember. They're somewhere, I've packed them away. <laughs> Moving on to the toilet, obviously that's now in situ. So, Burlington toilet, 
And before anyone jumps in the comments and says that the lever is silver, we realised that very quickly. We got in touch with them and yeah, they sent us a silver handle for the toilet, whereas everything else is gold. Even the screws at the bottom of the toilet are gold. So, um, we have, they have sent us out a new one. It's taken its time to arrive. It should be here at the beginning of next week. So obviously then that will be the same gold tones and that will get changed, but it's lovely. We were looking for toilet seats the other day and I spotted a few in the range when we were last there because I did want a wood effect. I know you can't have wood on a toilet seat, but you can have like wood effect and they did do a few nice wood effect tones. However, the hardware on the ones in the range were silver and I did not notice that. They, they had no gold hardware toilet seats at all well it would have just stuck out like a sore thumb like that does against all the brass and the gold tones in this room so we came back to the drawing board we said well, there must be some toilet seats online somewhere that have like gold and brass tones so we found this one i'll link it in the description box down below but it was a lot of money um but to justify it spending that much money on a toilet seat it's because like you can't put a thousand pound bathroom in a cloakroom and then put a plastic toilet seat on do you know what i mean like it had to have like it had to be a nice one so unfortunately they just cost a lot more money so we've gone for this wooden one and as you can see it's really really tonal me and hubby love the details of everything so and i mean take this in guys because you're never gonna get a close-up of my toilet <laughs> after this um but yeah it's got gold hardware even these little things are like tonal and it's like this um mattified wood it almost looks carved on the edges i just love it so this was from victoria plum and yeah i'll link it down below but the best thing about it is Ta-da! Soft closing, you guys. Is that not just the most satisfying thing you ever saw? <laughs> so, for a small room, we were saying, this room has took such a long time to... Uh, it just feels like we've been working on it for such a long time. We've restored the old cupboard door in here, the little hobbit door, we call it. We've given her some new hardware as well. And if we open her up, You'll see, hopefully, because the lighting is not great, like I said, that Hubby has tiled all the way inside the cupboard. And I just think that's made such a difference. We could have easily just stopped there and had this like as a really rubbish little cupboard and shut it away. But the attention to detail he shows with everything, all of his work in the house on these, these renovations, is just outstanding i mean like even this little hatch down to the cellar he's put he's put little levers on in the brass in the gold so that you can just like lift it off i can't get my nails underneath it and he's even tiled over the top of it i mean how good is that i mean look look at the cuts of them tiles i just honestly he amazes me this man So like I said, the only other thing that needs doing really in here is the wallpaper. We'll go through that in the next renovation vlog, I think. But in the meantime, I need to find some artwork that's going to go inside of this above the toilet. At the moment, it's just a white blank canvas. That used to be the old window into the lounge. This was the corridor. You get to the end of the corridor and you'd get to this window. And then through the window, you could see into the lounge, but you couldn't get through that way, obviously. You'd have to go then this way, because this is the stud wall. And then this would bring you out in the stairs. And then you'd enter the lounge. Just really creepy, wasn't it? If you remember from the original um, 
house tour video you'll you'll see it on there if you haven't seen that before go and check out the um first videos that we posted on this renovation it's amazing isn't it how much this house has changed since then i think i was having a little browse the other day anyway i'm uh digressing um yeah so this was the old window we kept the frame i've just painted it all in and I'm going to choose some artwork. We were going to have that as a mirror. But obviously you want your mirror above the vanity. That's another thing I have to choose and find as a mirror. We'll do that on the Shop With Me vlogs. But yeah, we were going to do it as a mirror. But there's no point having a mirror above the toilet, you know. Like, that's just weird. So, I'm going to choose some artwork. So, it's basically just a piece of artwork that you would have normally above a toilet. <laughs> The only difference being is that it's um, round and not square. So I've got some bronze spray paint that I picked up from the range and we are going to get an old sponge and we're going to make this frame like a bronze effect in today's vlog. But before we do that, we have to work on the door so in one of the previous vlogs you will have seen it was like an orange varnish door and i stripped it with the no nonsense paint stripper we've also given it a really good sanding down and the wood grain that's come out of this door is just absolutely stunning so what we're going to do is we're going to pop on a nice layer of this finishing wax this is in the shade white so it's going to lime wash this wood and then we're going to come in with the Brie Wax in the shade Dark Oak and we're going to just to use that in the grains just to warm up those grains and bring them out a little bit. So yeah, I'm going to set you guys up on a tripod and we're going to get on with this job. Waking up to a brand new day In between your sheets Breaking up in the best of ways and i'm back again on the street Ooh, but then out of the blue a wind starts blowing in a way so new a world more exciting than mine it's holding up a great big welcome inside a life it's for living let's see towel i use old rags tea towels whatever you've got to hand but yeah we're going to rub off the excess white wax that we've just put on so it's basically a case of wax on wax off and i'll just give you a close-up here so obviously the longer you let this white wax sit for the more it will get into the grain hi guys from a little shopping trip this Sunday morning. It is absolutely dismal outside and obviously we've not got great lighting in the house yet. I can't wait to have the curtains up and then an extra layer of lighting, you know, with all the lamps and things like that. So unfortunately we are stuck like this. So sorry if it's causing quality issues. Sunday is one of my busiest days of the week and I love it and that's why I love a Monday, a lovely quiet Monday. Get them all back to college, school, university, whatever. Ash them back to work and then I can have a nice quiet day. <laughs> I got some milk, I got some olive oil, the usual suspects, toothpaste, because Ashley keeps using my whitening toothpaste which is £24 per tub. <laughs> like he's using it as his everyday toothpaste. I got some white pepper, more coffee. I got some broccoli for the Sunday roast. These are my new favourites. They do them in Aldi, they do them in Lidl. A salt and pepper chicken crown. You just bake it in this tin so there's no mess. In fact, this tin 
collect all the juice and then I make the gravy out of that as well. But this is so good. Just try it, honestly. Some paracetamol. Oh yeah, I'm glad I picked this up. I'm just starving this morning. I was in the little bakery section and they do festive bits and bobs. So they've started doing all the festive cupcakes and they've also got this little gingerbread pastry plats. Looks like this. So we'll pop that in the oven and pop the kettle on for a cup of coffee. I picked up a carrot cake. They're not doing that many great desserts at the moment. Anyway, I picked up a carrot cake. I'll probably warm it in the oven. We had the first frost this morning. It was really cold. And I don't know about you, but I love all the comfort food when it's freezing. So yeah, I want cake and custard after our Sunday roast today. Wild rocket, because I'm just loving having eggs and rocket and avocado bananas because I fancy bananas and oats caramelized banana maybe oh nearly forgot about my little bulb of garlic for the roast dinner so I've just warmed up my little gingerbread pastry in the oven I'm gonna enjoy that I've got to have them warm and I've also got a coffee with marshmallows all the marshmallows have melted into that froth at the top it's so naughty I know yesterday you saw me just about to pull the trigger on the Ralph Lauren wallpaper sample. I didn't do it because I thought maybe we should just order another sample and just make sure. So I know it's taking ages to choose a wallpaper, etc. But we don't want to get it wrong and there's a Lucy Annabelle wallpaper that I really like and hubby hadn't seen it so I said just before we order this just look at this one for me online and I brought it up and he was like oh I really like that one because the Lucy Annabelle print is more of a woodland theme and didn't I say that I wanted to bring the woodland into this house because we are situated in the woodland that's why I love that tall de Jouy one from Lucy Annabelle and it's actually a little bit cheaper not that it matters they're all designer bloody prices but yeah um so I've ordered a sample of the Lucy Annabelle I thought I'd done that a couple of weeks ago when I ordered the Ralph Lauren ones and I've not done it I've not like pressed order so um I was waiting for it and it never arrived duh um, but yeah, so I've actually ordered it this time. I think it'll be here on Monday. So in the next renovation vlog, we'll go through all the wallpapers and sit down and properly make a decision. Oh my God, I've been looking at the wrong end of the camera. I'm so sorry. <laughs> my eyesight, it's getting worse, you guys. <laughs> and I also want your advice on the wallpapers as well. So let's just have a bite of our gingerbread pastry. Let's go for the middle section. Mm. Mm. Also, we've got all the Hagrid vibes today. I've just not done nothing with the hair because there's no point, if I'm out and about in the rain, there's no point styling it up. It's like just unnecessary heat, isn't it, for the hair. So you'll just have to excuse me. But on the note of Hagrid, we're on the final film of Harry Potter tonight because we start the marathon at the beginning of October and every Sunday evening we watch Harry Potter from the beginning and then we watch a film every Sunday evening after we roast dinner and it's just a vibe and we love it every year we do it it's like a traditional thing we do and yeah uh, we're on the final film but the final film is in two films isn't it they split it Deathly Hallows part one and Deathly Hallows part two so we're on Deathly Hallows part one tonight and then next week will be the finale and then that's it you guys that's gonna take us through to um the end more or less of november maybe we should do a video christmas movies advent calendar so a christmas movie every single night throughout december like advent up to 24 christmas eve like what would be your christmas eve movie let me just take you through and show you like everything is such a freaking mess there's just stuff everywhere everything's really filthy as well i just need to give everything a good cleanse and wipe down i need to empty the dishwasher there's stuff in the sink there's just stuff all over the sides that need to get put away I need to decan all of my 
frosted Mrs. Hinch Wonderland. This is a gorgeous scent, by the way. And then I also need to decant those. So I've just been leaving everything around. Oh, I didn't show you guys, did I? I bought this cheese knife from the coffee exchange company that day when we went to that old sweet shop. Look at this little cheese cleaver with the wooden handle. It's absolutely stunning, isn't it? And I've just bought my new uh, cake stand and I was thinking of the cheese boards when I bought that. So how nice. So that's going to come in really handy over the festive cheese board period. Anyway, I can't remember guys what we finished up on yesterday, but this is the current situation in the boot room. So, um, oh, I think I showed you the raw wood last, didn't I? So it's had one coat, it's very whitewashed. It's had one coat of paint from me last night and it's going to probably have another coat later on today and the shelf has also gone up. Hubby came home with those brackets from Screw Fits and popped this up. We've also decided to keep that board. So we filled in the holes, took all the hooks off of it. It's had one coat of paint and it's gonna have another coat of paint. But we've decided to repurpose it. We're gonna go for three of those hooks um, in there when it's finished being painted and yeah i can't wait to style up the shelves so i've been getting out all my little bits and bobs and we're more or less once the hooks are up we're more or less finished on the wall itself obviously we're waiting for floor after that and then it will be completed but we'll be able to style this area up together so i'm super excited about that hopefully in the next renovation vlog we'll do that also, we finished up in this room yesterday and yeah, we popped on the door. So the hardware is now on there and the little door knob. I just need to touch up little bits here where the old door fixing was. We've had to fill the holes because you could see them. Um, yeah, and I wasn't happy about that. So I filled the holes. Well, Hubby's filled the holes yesterday and we just need to touch up the door. And all of the mess on the floor is gone. So we're really starting to come together now, you guys. I'm nearly ready to decorate for Christmas. So my attention has been turning towards that. I need to finish off the staircase just so that this area is a lovely backdrop for the Christmas tree at least. Then again, I have been wondering whether to do the Christmas tree in here because originally I did envision it in, in this room with the woodland outside. And yeah, I just envisioned it over there in the under the stairs. We're in here more. So, shall I put it up in here? And if I do, wh where where am I putting it? Hubby says you could put it in the window down there and block the view. Some might say that I'm a loner But I just call it Ready to go, we've got the salt and pepper chicken, some Yorkshire puddings, and then all of our ingredients for a gorgeous roast. What I do know is, we're gonna make the best, the very best of a cozy Christmas, as much as we can do, you know, with regards to having no floor in the renovation. We're gonna try our best, and yeah, it'll be, it'll be lovely no matter what, because I said to Hubby last night, actually, I was getting really festive vibes, and I said, that's like unusual because I thought I would need all, all of the house finished and the tree up and all of this stuff to make me feel Christmassy. And that was actually not the case. And it just shows that Christmas is a feeling and it's not about all the bells and the whistles, you know? Anyway, guys, this video is far too long. I'm going to leave it here and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.